Cotswold district has changed a lot over the last 20 years. Back then, we were only just starting to realize the scale of the climate crisis and the urgent action we all had to take. The Great Storm was a wake-up call. Parts of the district lost a quarter of their mature trees in a day, which felt like a real body blow at the time, and some of our most iconic heritage buildings were badly damaged. It was a huge loss to the character of our district. Home building has seen a lot of changes. Since the first of the big roast heat waves and droughts, new homes are built to much stricter standards on energy use, carbon emissions and overheating, Solar panels are everywhere now. Lots of existing homes have been upgraded to make them cooler in the summer, more energy efficient in the winter, and use less water. Energy is very different too. The district now generates at least as much renewable energy as it uses. And while solar farms and wind turbines were unpopular with some to start with, now they're just part of the landscape and have created local jobs and income too. Some farmers are even growing vegetable crops right underneath solar panels. As for transport, as well as electric cars, we've now got shared public on-demand electric pods, which people call up when they want to live somewhere. Cotswold Country Pubs got quite a boost when people found they could pod to the pub and then pod home. The big investment in bike highways has made cycling easy and safe, and people choose electric cargo bikes because they've found them more fun and sociable than driving. Superfast broadband helped make the district a thriving hub for businesses and people who come for the quality of life. And repair shops in every town help us reduce our carbon footprint of all the stuff we used to buy and then chuck away. So looking back, it's amazing how much we've changed. How we lived and ate and traveled, how we heated our homes, the things we bought, the jobs we did. And there were lots of benefits, like better homes, lower bills, healthier residents, less pollution, more close-knit communities. Turns out that tackling the climate crisis fixed a lot of other problems too.